Let's talk about your baby girl. What is Yay. she up to? You know what's so funny? I remember last time I was here, she was like seven weeks old, yes. I think. Now she's two years old. And now she's two. And we were all like crying and like so emotional about this new baby. And now she's two and she is as sassy as can be. Oh. Look at her. Oh. <laughs> okay, does she know about Santa yet? Like is she? Oh, I've been telling yes. her. Yes, okay. I've been telling her and she is, let me tell you, she knows about presents. Everything is presents and prizes. And this kid is oh. so spoiled. But I don't think there's a more fun age than two. There's not. Oh, it she's gets so better. She's so delicious and it hilarious, oh. but she's so sassy. Yeah. I mean, she's what do you mean sassy? Yesterday. What she's? What oh, yesterday she's like, Mama, go away, stop it. <laughs> like whispering to me because she was I was embarrassing her in front of people, and I was like, Do you want Mama to leave? And she's like, Yes, Mama, go. She's like, Mama, I got my old. thing going on. Wow. She's two. But she's also Mama's girl. Like we are attached at the hip. She's my little koala. Sweet. And I just, man, I, you know. Does it go quick? Because when you're here with Natalie, we were laughing about the baby phase. We said you're in the trenches at this moment. But I do feel like you blink. And then now she's got yeah. her purse and sunglasses. The blink of an eye. <laughs> and there's, there's some moments, if I'm being honest, you know, when she was little and not sleeping more than 30 minutes at a time and breastfeeding 75 times a day. Oh, yeah. Which was wonderful and a gift. But there were moments where you're like, wow, what is this whole? This is going fast. Because yes. these days are long. You think it's, it's the never hardest never job in the end. world. The hardest, hardest job. I, yeah, yeah being a mom has taught me I am so much stronger than I ever thought, you know, which is a good lesson. But you revere us all, you don't you, Scott? I do. You, I bow down. I bow down. <laughs> we have Lacey Chavere here. She stars in Hallmark Channel's Pride, Prejudice, and Mistletoe. It's part of Hallmark <laughs> Channel's annual countdown to Christmas event. It's Lacey's seventh Hallmark movie. Cheers. Cheers here, to here. that. Cheers. To You're the a, queen yes. of the Hallmark <laughs> movie. Well, you and Candace Cameron, you should both wear crowns wherever you go now. <laughs> You know what? That is yes. a great idea. I can't yes. believe I haven't thought of it myself. Absolutely. And the drinking game. Scott is not privy to. We got to. Uh, okay, so Scott's like, there's a drinking game. The rules. I yes. around. It circulated around social media. There was a drinking game that you know you drink every time there's a snowball fight or every time there's a kiss gone wrong or every time you see Candace Ryan. <laughs> I was like, well, this is drink not. People this drink. Is right. Guys, there's Lacey. But Lacey, all the years you've been on our show talking about these, this is such a good fit with you and Hallmark, did you ever think it would end up being like this? Like, what Thank a wonderful you. combination. Yeah. yeah, it's been a, a really blessed experience, and I have so much fun making these movies. I love just being a part of something that brings a little joy into people's homes for a couple of hours, and I think I just finished my I mean, 16th like Hallmark movie. Whoa. Oh my Holy gosh. Six, yeah. So it wasn't yeah, seven, it, it, it was That's 16. Christmas. I think oh, I've done Christmas. six Christmas ones. Yes. Seven Christmas. 16 oh. Hallmark yeah. movies. You just shot one in <laughs> South Africa recently, I, not Christmas. I no. did. Love on Safari, we shot it in January in South Africa. We were in Johannesburg for three, oh. three weeks, and it was just a bucket list place, obviously, and such an incredible experience. I mean, there were giraffes walking around, and you, we, we had a day with the elephants, and we actually stayed on the reserve where we were filming, and it oh, was wow. just beautiful. I'd wake up, and the giraffe would be outside of my room in the morning. Oh it my was gosh. absolutely surreal and crazy. And Guys, real life this changing. is my dream, love yes. on safari. So <laughs> can't you fall in love with maybe the guy that's showing you around, the tour guide guy? You re -meet How him. do you know that's exactly what I, happened? Guys, I'm Hallmark. <laughs> <laughs> and, I love She's the been voice trying. that you talk in when you're describing <laughs> the part. So then you go into the movie and you're, yes, and then you're Wait, wait, wait. I, last time I was here, a couple of years ago, I think I promised you I was going to work on getting you a part Lacey. in one of these. I dropped the ball. What happened? I'm sorry. Failed. I failed miserably. I. I'm a busy mom, yes. but I'm on the case. Lacey, Both of you, yeah. nobody is called. We're we'll in. Leave it at that, but we're, we're in. in. <laughs> and Scott so, wants a part too. I'm not. I am not upset about it. Yeah. Okay. I'm not upset about it. But I okay. do want to know the the Pride and Prejudice and Mistletoe. It flows. Yes, yes it's based off of um, Melissa De La Cruz's book, and it's an adorable story. I play Darcy Fitzwilliam mm -hmm. in it, and in the beginning, she's an investment baker. She's incredibly um, ambitious, but she feels like something's missing, something's a little off, and she needs to take a little step back. She go home. So she goes home for the holidays. What and? better place to take a step back than going home for the holidays? And just realizes right. that the relationship she's in is probably not the right one. And Ooh. she ends up uh, planning this beautiful charity event for the community with her mother, and she does it alongside Luke Bennett, who was her high school nemesis. Oh, lo and behold. Oh. And they oh. might have a little bit of a different connection, connection this time. And he's single. Oh. So big city girl I goes home. Ever. Finds love with her nemesis. Drink, drink, drink. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Check the boxes, people. Yes, and he helps you know her rediscover her Christmas spirit. And and the thing that I love about all these movies, there's always the common theme of you know getting back in touch with what it is to just what's most important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And especially for the Christmas movies, the Christmas spirit, being with family, and that's something that I think connects with a lot of people. And me too.